Hey, what's going on, fiends? Well, it looks like Universal Studios decided to give us a late Christmas gift. And what I mean by a late Christmas gift is they dropped a trailer on us today. And it was kind of a pleasant surprise because I had heard about this film, but wasn't really tracking it that much. And that movie is Renfield, based on the character from the Dracula novel, as well as the character that was made famous by Dwight Fry in 1931's Dracula with Bela Lugosi. And I would go as far as to say Dwight Fry pretty much stole that movie from Bela Lugosi with the way he portrayed the character of Renfield. I mean, he was quite possibly the most terrifying part of that movie. If you've not seen it, which if I don't know how any of you could have never seen 1931's Dracula, but there might be some. You've probably been living under a rock, but um, yeah, watch that movie and just watch his performance. He just chews on the scenery every time he's on camera. He's just got this, oh my God, it's just a terrifying look about him. But uh, from what I understand, this movie... It's going to be more of a horror comedy, and it's going to have Nicholas Holt in it, who we know as, or may not know, but did play Hank McCoy in the uh, X-Men movies, Beast. He also played in Tolkien, based on the life of legendary Lord of the Rings writer. And he played in the romantic comedy Warm Bodies, where he played the zombie that falls in love with the girl but not only that Nicolas Cage is going to be in this movie and this is not the first time Nicolas Cage has played a vampire because yes he's playing Count Dracula in this movie but uh, Nicolas Cage has played a man who thought he was becoming a vampire 35 years ago in 1988's Vampire's Kiss which is a comedy movie where a then young Nicolas Cage um, is in the throes of some room. Okay, he's getting the boom chicka wow wow going on, and a girl bites his neck, and he thinks he's starting to slowly turn into a vampire. Well, now, 35 years later, he finally gets to play a real vampire in Count Dracula. So, got the trailer here, haven't watched it, uh, haven't even looked at anything about it. We're going into this raw but uh yeah let's pull this trailer up real quick got the trailer pulled up we ready to rock and roll and as always you know those three magic words lick it flick it and ooh, 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 stick it sorry to interrupt are you okay i need to get out of a toxic relationship why don't you start by telling us what brought you here? My boss. Oh, Swan Lake. Different. You can't get him out of your head. No. I need your assistance. I'm coming, Master. Swan Lake's oh, kind of like an Easter egg. You with the snap You've ever watched fingers. the original Dracula? That was Wouldn't the even need to opening snap. song for that movie. Okay. Uh -huh, that as well familiar. as Frankenstein. Yeah, what? Renfield, bring in innocent victims. I want a handful of nuns, a busload of cheerleaders. And I just want a normal life again. I love it, Nicholas Cage has got the but corny, this modern world Bela is a Lugosi place. kind of accent going on. But just cheesy. Oh, no. Of course, he eats spiders and gets superpowers. Because his wife Fry ate spiders Thank in you. 1931. You saved my life. Did I watch you cut a guy with a decorative serving platter? It's all in the wrist. Let me explain. My boss gave me this power. In return, I tend to his needs, including care, feeding. You bring in people to eat? You're like the guy that gets the villain's postmates. But if you were to stop focusing on his needs, what would happen? He won't grow to full power. Exactly. Huh. He won't grow to full power. Yes. What? That's so weird. <laughs> Why would you phrase it like that? But yes. 
Hi, are you here for the meeting? Well, come on. Okay, we go. No! We go. Some call me the Dark One. Others, the Lord of Death. To most, I am Black. Oh, he looks Okay, obviously we're dealing good. with a little bit more than just narcissism here. Now, let's eat. So this movie looks fun. Uh, it really, really does. Uh, I'm glad that Renfield is actually getting his own movie. Um, I can't say that I'm as excited for this as I am Evil Dead Rise, because if I had to pick between the two, if I only had enough money to go see this or Evil Dead Rise, I'm going to go see Evil Dead Rise over Renfield. But I'm glad that um, Renfield is getting his own movie, I, I um, because it's such an important character, especially the universal horror. Uh, Dwight Fry's you know, though he's not with us anymore, that's the legacy he left there as well as on other films, um, including, you know, even Frankenstein. I mean, Nicholas Holt got some big shoes fill there, my friend. And uh, Nicholas Cage looks fantastic as Dracula. I like the fact that the makeup, they didn't make him look like super pretty and like, you know, all like Edward you know, just handsome. I like that they made him look undead, gave him the just mouthful of fangs and all that. So that I liked. That was kind of like a almost a little sprinkling of uh, some Salem's lot there. But uh, and then a few little Easter eggs here and there. I like the fact you you know the fact that he eats spiders for his superpowers, which that was one of the most memorable scenes from Thirty One Dracula with the White Fry, where he was talking about eating spiders. Um, the book that had uh, Swan Lake on it because that's the song that was used in the Bela Lugosi Dracula as well as Frankenstein with Boris Karloff. But yeah, I mean. I'm I'm excited for it, but I can't say that I'm like, oh my God, excited for it. It still looks fun. Well, guys, you all let me know. Are you all excited for this movie? I mean, I kind of am. I kind of am because I am a fan of the character and I'm a big Universal Monsters nerd. So I kind of am not going to cap, but uh, y'all let me know. Y'all feel the same. And also while you're at it, could you please, uh, please hit that notification bell down there? Wait, no, I say Hadouk in the notification bell. You're messing up your own outro, John. Hadouk in the notification bell. But could you hit the subscribe button? Give us a thumbs up. And as always, this has been your old buddy, John. And I'll see you again next time. Ooh -ooh.